Hey, it's Matt Williams with Focus on the 615. We're here at Autism Speaks in Margaritaville in downtown Nashville, Tennessee, and I'm talking to Gloriana, at least two out of three of you. How are you? We're doing well. Happy to be here. How are you? Doing great. I'm looking forward to this show. Can we expect any surprises from you guys? We're just ready to, you know, waste away again in Margaritaville, I would think. Actually, tonight is probably the one time we'll be in Margaritaville not to party. We're here for a great cause. As far as uh, what we're going to play tonight, we're going to just kind of, I think we're going to do a little set of the hits tonight. So it's always fun when it's a, a, a short little acoustic set like this because we get to play all the songs that people are familiar with. So it's pretty cool. Yeah. And we should point out, Rachel's on her way. Rachel is, yeah. We've been super busy recording our new CD. We're actually in the studio today, yesterday, and uh, we left the studio today to come down because we really wanted to be a part of this and, um, and play for everybody and, and be part of the good cause. So Rachel's running a little late. She was doing some vocals in the studio. She's going to be here any minute, and uh, we're very excited. I'm happy to be here. This is one of my biggest causes I support, and I'm, I'm so into it. I've been asking PR forever to find a, a spot for me to play something like this, and I'm really happy I'm here. So what is your personal connection with the cause or with this organization? Well, when I was... I had so many different odd jobs going up before I started playing music for a living. And um, one of them was cleaning carpet. And I went to this house to clean carpet. And there was this one room where there was this girl inside this huge room, stained all over the floors. I had to go clean it. It's this small little bed. Like, the windows were broken. Um, there was plexiglass in the windows, bars on the windows. And the girl was autistic, but the parents did not really have the ability or the, the money or the finances or any type of way to actually handle it. And um, she was really in like a bad state. And I felt so horrible that I knew one day I wanted to do something about it. And now that I'm forming myself a platform that I'm able to push on, I'm excited to be able to help. That's great. That's a moving story, too. That's you know, it's a, I'm, I, liked, I like it because I don't have a personal, personal connection, you know. Like, it doesn't personally affect me in my life. But yet, it's good to have an outside have it hit you just as hard, you know. And I need to comment on your earring first. That's amazing. These are my earrings. This is a Autism Speaks. It's the uh, puzzle piece. And, uh, you know, Autism Speaks has a special place in my heart. Back in March, my oldest son, who is five years old, got diagnosed with autism. So that was something I, you know, kind of was scared of and didn't know what to think of. And so I got hooked up with Autism Speaks of Tennessee, and I just went, come on, man, let's rock this. Let me, they, they've been so incredibly awesome at, you know, kind of helping me figure out where the next, what the next steps are and how I can best, you know, nurture my son's gifts. And he's got so many gifts. So I, really, I feel really blessed to be here at this event and to be a part of such an incredible cause because, you know, in the end, it's not about me, it's not about them, it's not about anybody, it's about the kids. And yes. it's about the fact that we're just trying to help those kids out and help families out and bring awareness. Sunlight you're here, dark in your skin for the first time. I noticed the change. Seems you lost your feet. 